Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet. And yes, I have gotten a lot of requests to try one of the European maps. And that is what I'm going to be doing here, guys. This is the very, very first time I've been here. And I've geared up with some fairly smaller rods. But it doesn't look like anything in this particular lake is huge. I was checking out the fish species. It looks like the biggest thing that they have here might be the common carp or maybe the young pot northern pike. Other than that, they're all pretty small. This Prussian carp, that's the only trophy. So this is going to be just kind of fun. Well, there are trophy common roach. This will be kind of fun. I've done this kind of fishing before on Russian Fishing 4 and I've done it on um, some other fishing games as well. And I do like fishing for them. I think professional fishing, I had a lot of fun doing these guys as well. But it looks, this place is called Lesti Villa Fishery, which is in the Czech Republic. And it looks like the peak time on a cloudy day, which is what this is, is going to be right now. Uh, up until like probably 9 a.m. So we got about four good hours of fishing. So, and I've already got myself an advanced license because I want to be able to come back here whenever I want to and I have to pay for that. So, I did spend my bait coins on that. Alright guys, this is what I'm going to be going with. I, honestly, this is all new for me guys on this game. So, bear with me. If I make any mistakes, I will learn, trust me. But anyway guys, I have myself a Creek Pro 7 foot by 10 inch. It's like the earliest or lowest level of the bottom fishing rods. And I've got a half ounce sinker on it. Six pound test braid line. Uh, number four hook. 5.5 uh, pound leader, just in case there's a pike or something. Um, and I'm going to try this. This is a new bait for me. This is bread dough with honey, or bread with honey. And I've also got my Prima 2000. That's fairly light, real as well. And I've also got this one. This one's a little, little tougher. Now, all around 10 foot by 10 inch with a Prima 3000. About the most that either one of these can handle is eight pound test. There's no nine pound test, so this is what we got to deal with. Ten pounds a little too strong. Don't want to be breaking our rods. Got a number two hook on there. We're going to start with that. We might go bigger than that later on. See what happens. Uh, seven eight ounce little sinker. Again, a mono leader of 5.5 pounds, and a number two hook. So and pearl barley. I like pearl barley. I like to use it a lot when I'm playing Russian Fishing 4, so I'm going to try it here just to see how well it does. Of course, both of these have bells. Now, I did bring some other rods with me. I did bring this one, my Jester 5 foot by 7 inch. So it might do a little spin casting, float fishing. I mean, most of these are like the Nero 10 foot by 10 inch. Uh, the Crucian Hunter 4000, nothing's very heavy duty guys. Everything here is under a level 12, so nothing I've got gear wise. And I will touch on them if I ch decide to change. I doubt I will. I think I'm going to focus mostly on bottom fishing, but I might do a little spin casting while I'm bottom fishing, unless it gets a little too crazy. But I do believe I got a, oh, what do you call them? A, rod pod or whatever it is I think it holds two of them so that should work out just fine I don't have enough cash to get a bigger one than that at the moment so let's go back to the map here and let's see where should we go guys should we go down here go over here there's a lot of looks like lily pads here and stuff all right, let's just try over here for a minute. We'll take a look at the underwater map. Kind of get an idea of the underwater terrain. I don't think there's a whole lot of variation. I think it's either shallow or deep. That's the way I understand it. 
probably be better to go to a private room. All right, let's get rid of that. And let's head over here. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and take a look at the map here. So I am here. There's deep area here. And it looks like... Well, it just kind of looks the same. So it's not really, you know... Doesn't take a rocket scientist. Let's see. I mean, this is as good a place as any. Press 9 to set up the rod stand. Okay. So 9... Ah, so I guess when it's green, you're good to go. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to switch over to one of these. Let's see here. Bread with honey, number four hook. We're going to toss that out. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to stay kind of close, but I'm going to go over there by the... Well, that was a terrible... <laughs> Yeah, I think clipping the line is where you can actually make it so it only goes out so far. Oh, wow. That's quite the cast. <laughs> That's quite the cast. All right. Let me see here. How do I put the rod down? Do I... Am I getting a bite? No, that was just me. How do I put this darn... Okay. There we go. We got it now. And I don't think I'm going to throw it out quite that far this time. I'm going to throw it out over here, I think. We'll see what we can get here. So... Are you serious? <laughs> Okay, we got unsnagged. Okay, shift plus two. So... So that allows you to do it any other time. I got it. I got it. Alright, we can't... Shift plus two to take the rod from the stand, or hold that to take. Okay. Interesting. We are going to pull out this and just see if anything might be interested in it. There are pike in here, you know. They might be. I don't know if they're big enough for this or not, though. That's the only thing. Oh, cool. Hold on, I'm going to have to... Re Maybe I can't do this. <laughs> Let's just get it in, because there's something going nuts. Alright, how do I take this? Ooh, it's this one. Okay. So... Ooh, Let's see what we got here. Silver bream. I like the silver bream. Those are a pretty fish. Let's take a good look at him here. Silver bream. What I catch that off? I should have known. Pearl barley. I always have a lot of luck with the pearl barley. Okay. This is the heavier rod, too, so let's toss that over there. And was it shift two? Yeah. We got it. It's all good. I know how to get him to bite. Get out my other rod. <laughs> That's exactly how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. Get your other rod out and start fishing. Let's see. 
think I might use something a little smaller than what I've got on here. That's kind of big. Let's see, maybe a... Yeah, there we go, nano spoons. This time use a little bit bigger though. Is that too small? Yeah, it's too small. Let's try a neural spoon. That's optimal. Bet you anything we get a bite now. <laughs> I swear to God. As soon as I cast the son of a gun. I can't put it down or anything, can I? Let me see. Shift 2. Can I do that? Oh, that's cool. Except I got the wrong rod. Shift 2. Shift two. Okay, I lost it. But I am getting a bite on that one, so let's go ahead and do a shift F2 on that one. Or shift two. God bless it. This is not as easy as you think. I think it's easier just to point. I've got something on here. Yeah, I gotta learn the mechanics, guys. <laughs> There's always something to do with the mechanics. What do we got here, guys? Prussian carp. Now, that's a little more cash. That's a little more cash. Alright, we're going to put this away. We're going to grab this one. Reel it back in. I think I'm going to go down a little farther. Just, that tickled me to death to be there. <laughs> as soon as I threw it out there, I started getting a bite. That was funny as heck. Alright, let's try moving this over here. Or maybe not. Oh, there it is. I guess you just don't see it when you're moving on here. If you can't place it, it doesn't pop up. But yeah, this looks much better for the carp for me. Plus, I, if I do happen to have a minute or two to fish with the lure, then I can do so. I think I'm going to just keep what I've got on here for now. Because I might want to throw that a little bit better. There we go. Just does better when it's... Let's see. Let's take that down a little bit. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. It's, it's coming to me, guys. It's coming to me. Slowly but surely. It's, are you serious? Boy, is my instincts good or what? Tell you, as soon as I popped it in there, common roach. As soon as I popped her in there. See, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, what the heck? Oh, that's weird. 
Did you see that? How the hell did that? I, I stepped a little too far away. And when I did, it disappears. That's so strange. Didn't know that could happen after you cast. Alright, let's do it. Shift 2, put that one down. We'll get number 5. And I think we're going to change this from the barley to something else just to... I'm going to put corn on there. Some good old carp corn. Well, you got to be right on top of that. I mean, let me see what the map says. Okay, we need to cast it out of ways. I think I'm going to try to get it out a little bit further. Eh, nah. Let's just toss it out there. And pull out our lure rod. Told you. All I had to do was pretend. Which one is it though? This one. Alright, this is off the corn. So let's see what the heck we got with the corn here. Another Prussian carp. Oh no, it isn't corn. It's the bread with honey. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Ugh, it's getting me. Getting a little hard to get used to that. That seems a little strange that it does that. The thing is, I wish you could take up the slack a little bit. You can't do that. I'm so used to being able to do that in Russian Fishing 4. Alright, looks like we're getting some activity. Finally, it took a while. And it would be this one. Off that honey again. They really do like that here. Another Prussian carp. A little bit bigger than last time. Haven't really caught any monsters, that's for sure. Let me go ahead and get a picture anyway, because I need something to be able to take. I wish I could get a trophy something or other, but I think we are going to go ahead and move. I'm going to go ahead and grab this again. We're going to take the rod pod and head on over to the other side. Let's see here. The rod is cast. Oh, okay, I have to get away from it. Let's try over here this time. Okay, here's a platform right here. Let me take a look at the map. Hmm. So there is a deep area out there, especially off to the right. And I think that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to... Well... There it goes. Well, you got to have it just right, don't you? We're going to toss this guy out deep. 
And let me make sure that I don't want to change the bait. Don't want to do maggots, don't want to do casters. Semolina. Let's stick with corn on that one. We might change this up to something else. Let's see. Dough balls. Maybe. No, no. Let's do... Let's do marshmallows. Haven't done marshmallows in a long, 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 long time. <laughs> long, 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 long time. Alright. Hopefully it won't disappear when I try to cast it. Alright. It's somewhere right out there. I think I got it because it looked like, it, yep, 12.3 feet. I'm right on the mark, it looks like. So shift two. Let's see. I'm already getting a bite. Damn, holy, oh, okay, 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 okay. Whoa! Looks like I hit the honey pot out there. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that was just luck, but hey, I'll take it. Whew, I almost had the tent drag on there too high, and that sucker was going to get away. What do we got here? Regular carp? Oh! Mirror carp, new personal record. 78, so that's where they are. Okay. I'm going to get a good picture of him. He's purdy. He's a purdy fish. Spin around here a little bit. I want to see, see you. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That is fun. Okay, so Cartmaster 2. Looks like I got two gold for that. I will certainly take it. And they definitely went for the marshmallows. I, that was so weird. Okay, let's do two. And then we'll get number five out. Let's put it out there somewhere too, right about there. How deep is that? Oh, it's not as deep as it should be. Let's see here. Okay, there's a different substrate. I see how it works. Okay. It's not really the deep spot though, is it? You want we want it in the deep spot. There it is. Perfect. And I'm going to make sure... Yeah, see, this is too shallow, too. <sighs> yep, there it is. quite as deep, is it? 8.5. I'm going to bring it in. I think I might try out over on this side anyway. Ooh, I caught a water lily. We'll discard that. Yeah, I'm going to cast a little further, and if it Still doesn't hit the mark. I'll, I think I hit it that time. Yeah, I did. 
Yeah, that's a little better. That's a little better. All right. Well, that was just as cool as all get out. Here we go again. And it is big. It is a big fish. Oh, ho, ho. oh I'm having a hell of a good time. I am having a hell of a good time. This is awesome. This is awesome. There you go. Yeah, I think the other one was a little bigger. I like him, though. He's pretty. He might be not quite as big, but... No, he's bigger. The other one was like 70, I think. He is bigger. But I like his scales. Isn't his scales nice? I want to be sure I get plenty of pictures. Alright. One more for good measure here, guys. And I think we'll call this an episode, but I think we have found the honey spot. See, that's 10 feet. Let's try bringing it a little bit in. See the substrate changed? So we'll go ahead and put this down. Yeah, there we go again. Now we better get this in because they can get off the hook. Holy crap! Right, another big one. Let's see if we get one that's a little bigger than the last one, okay? They do like the marshmallows, I will say that. They are big on the marshmallows. I think we've got some other common carp. Ha ha ha! Nice, very nice. New personal record. That was fun, guys. That was fun as all get out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. And I must say, I like the European maps a lot. At least this one, anyway. Very interested in seeing what the others are like, but before I can do that, I'm going to have to seriously get some cash built up. But that's not going to be a problem, because I'm going to be doing some fishing here. Anyway guys, uh, as I said before, I hope you enjoyed these episodes. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode here at this particular lake. And until then, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.